They're making criminals out of these young kids because they feel that they got the opportunity now. Oh, I'm going to get out in an hour. I'm Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Vincent Hill. There's still three weeks before the new juvenile justice laws take effect on November the 1st. The new law will expand probation, and kids as young as 10 can be charged for certain crimes. But despite that date fast approaching, juvenile crime isn't slowing down. At this Canton Royal Farms, just after 1 o'clock Thursday morning. The store is being robbed. Don't stay safe in the register. Police responding to a robbery. Unknown of weapons. It's going to be four individuals. Officers tracking down the suspects and arresting three 14 year olds, one male and two females. One of those females armed with a gun. The teens were taken to DJS and placed on electronic monitoring just six hours later. I got one female over here. I'm going to try to stop her. The two female suspects were back at the store, one spitting on an officer while being arrested. Police said the two females are responsible for several robberies. On the same day in Baltimore County, police arresting four juveniles for a rash of robberies and carjackings that spanned over a week. These kids is running wild. Mr. Pender is a lifelong Baltimore resident. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to say it. Pender says over the last few years, the state's juvenile crime laws have done more harm than good. You're making criminals out of our kids. You know what I'm saying? And they're growing up now young thinking that they can get away with the little things. Pender putting the blame on leaders. Stop putting politics over everything. Both at the city level. Stop worrying about the god electric lawnmowers and gas lawnmower. God the f they worrying about a gas lawnmower for. And you got kids out here doing this. And the state level. The governor and the mayor. I don't give a damn if he's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 90. If you do a crime, like they say, you got to do time. As the new juvenile crime laws are set to take effect, Pender holding back the tears over the current state of juvenile crime. Got to be better. It's got it's got to get better. I'm for some reason God brought me here to say what I got to say. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.